Welcome to ICT Lectures. We are going to look at the difference between SRAM and DRAM, right? So typically one is expensive and one is cheap. Now one simply refers to static RAM and of course the other one refers to dynamic RAM. So if you're joining us for the very first time, I kindly feel welcome and I hope you're going to enjoy the rest of this particular uh, lesson. All right, thanks. Welcome learner to Learner's Coach. So we are going to look at some of the key memory technologies that we have, right? Uh, that is static RAM and dynamic RAM. Of course, in full, static RAM represents uh, static random access memory. And dynamic uh, RAM actually represents dynamic random access memory. Now, these particular technologies are the main uh, types of, of RAM that you can always use or you can always purchase outside there. So it's very important to understand their key differences. And of course, if even if there's some similarities, we are going to uh, have a look at them. Now, also you need to understand that uh, both of these particular RAM, they are volatile. Volatile in that you can always lose information if you don't save uh, them on, on your computer, for instance, right? And of course, they act as the main uh, memory of the computer. Remember, we have different categories of memories that, are, that we need to understand. But today we are going just to look at the difference between uh, static RAM and dynamic RAM. And of course, them being the main uh, memory, that means they participate in actually holding a data in a temporary uh, location within our computers. So let's look at the first and understand uh, maybe some features of static RAM. So what we need to understand about static RAM or static random access memory is that it stores data in an, ele uh, in an electronic circuit called a flip-flop, right? So this means that it can store four to five times uh, data faster than the dynamic RAM. So that's one difference that we need to factor in. Now, the other difference is that since every bit a uh, cell within the, uh, the, the static RAM it requires six to more or more transistors to function. So comparing it with uh, one bit uh, or one, one per bit for the drum, then it means when you purchase or when you look at the physical uh, SRAM module, it appears to be bigger or larger. And of course, it's expensive uh, compared to the, what? To the dynamic RAM. So that's another difference that we need uh, need to note. As I'd mentioned also, the other difference or what we need to look at when talking about static uh, RAM is that they are normally reserved for key operations uh, or functions within the system, such as holding frequently accessed data. Uh, that is uh, the cache memory. Remember, cache memory uh, holds frequently accessed data. So cache memory uses the static random access uh, memory. So in a nutshell, what you're saying is that when you're storing data, they are stored in bits. That is one and on and off switches are known as the flip-flops. We also know, we need to note that there's no refreshing uh, needed when powered. Unlike the dynamic RAM, uh, they are also more complex to uh, construct. As you have seen, they are larger per bit. They are also more expensive, as you have seen. They also don't need refresh circuits they are faster right they are faster since uh, of their capability uh, to hold frequently accessed data so instead of the processor accessing data from the uh, the other memory it can always uh, use the cache memory to uh, fetch data from that so that means they are very very fast so let's look at dynamic random access memory so what about it so it's used as the main or system memory of uh, the PC. And this is what we normally use to store uh, data on our computer, right? So here, that means that uh, you need to save your work when you're using DRAM, right? So it stores the operating system, application programs, and data while they are running. So they are also uh, temporary. So they are also created from transistors and capacitors. Uh, dynamic RAM stores data bits as electrical charges within the structure of a single uh, transistor, right? That shows how powerful they are. 
So each bit cell is very small, but the electrical charge gradually discharges, right? So it, that, uh, that means it loses information. So in order to preserve this uh, or retain uh, this particular charge, dynamic memory has to be refreshed uh, periodically by accessing each bit a cell at regular uh, interval. So you can see that is a, another difference between drum and static drum. So it needs to be refreshed with time. So ideally, uh, in summary, dynamic RAM uh, bits are stored as charged in semiconductor capacitors. Uh, they need refreshing even when uh, powered. And of course, they are simpler to construct and they are smaller per bit. Of course, they are less expensive compared to the static RAM. Uh, they need refreshed circuits. They are often slower. And of course, they are reserved uh, for the main memory. So those are the key differences, or uh, if there's, uh, there are actually differences uh, between the two uh, memory technologies, that is the static RAM and dynamic RAM. So ideally, when you're using cache memory, that means you're using the static RAM. And of course, when you're using now the main memory of the computer, where you store temporary data, uh, that is, you're using the dynamic uh, RAM. Of course, the dynamic RAM has different uh, categories or they come in different fl uh, flavors, right? So we have the double data rate, uh, DRAM, or well, three, four, five, all of, and uh, etc. So that means uh, with the time, you'll re realize that when you're purchasing a particular DRAM, you need to be very specific on the speed uh, that the motherboard provides and of course you need to be specific on the capacity that this particular uh, drum can uh, store. So I think that is all when it comes to noting the difference between static and dynamic RAM. Alright, thanks.